Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Guy. I'm up here today with part two of the PlayStation 3 collection. Um, I want to start off by saying that, um, like I said, I've, when I do these videos, I go through everything and check the prices on them. Um, yesterday's selection, um, there were a few games that had gone up by 50p a pound, two pound. Um, the one that surprised me the most was Everblue. Um, that game I paid like 50p for. I don't know where I got it from. Probably a charity shop or or something. And I actually surprised to see that it's actually quite expensive now. Um, not expensive to the point of, say, um, Castlevania's or Rule of Rose or anything like that. Um, I found one copy on eBay from the UK selling for £42 new, so I put mine up for £25. I've already got a watcher on it, so maybe I can get like 25 quid for it. Um, for a game that I paid 50p for, just never know. That's why I like doing these videos, because it gives me a chance to go through things. Um, if I play the game, I don't mind selling it. Um, if it's a cheap game, you know. And that I picked up cheap and I've made a decent profit on it. You know, that, that, that's in my opinion why I collect um, sometimes. Not only to have them to play and stuff. But if I'm finished with it and I don't think I'm going to play it again. Why not, you know. Um, but let's just go straight into it. First up we have Army Men Real Time Strategy. This is actually surprisingly good for a strategy game. Um, I really like the Army Men games as a kid. Unfortunately a lot of them don't hold up too well anymore. Um, but this one's pretty fun. Some of these army men games are actually, um, um, some of these are uh, army men games, so someone had some codes in there. Um, some of these army men games are actually, uh, pretty fun and some people like sought after them, but I, I don't imagine these ones being too expensive. Um, then we have Ace Combat Squadron Leader. Um, again, I kind of know which games are the cheap ones and which ones are the expensive ones, but it's always nice to check. I check prices on TX first, um, if because I always do that first because it's easier for me to check the prices on there. Um, because eBay is not always great to um check prices on. If you're selling on eBay, again, obviously use eBay's prices. Um, whereas if you're selling on Facebook, it's best to use CEX prices because more people are aware of that. Um, plus, if you want to go to CEX to get the game sold for voucher price, then fine. But Ace Combat Squadron Leader, I think this is the fourth or the fifth in the series. I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of those games. Uh, Aggressive Inline, this is basically like... Um, uh, a Tony Hawk style game but with rollerblades. Um, I remember seeing this years ago and people talking about it. Um, I think I played a tiny bit of it um, with a friend once. Um, some of these old skateboarding extreme sports type games are, are becoming more and more sought after. More and more people are enjoying these sort of games and looking for them. Um, so just be aware. Um, that's a thing with these CX, these ones are the best thing to do. I know a lot of people hate them. Just wait a couple of months and then they'll dry out and you can just pull them off. I know a lot of people don't like doing that, but that's one way I do with it. Uh, the original Burnout. This game yeah, has a lot of memories for me. I remember playing it a lot as a kid. Um, it's kind of a challenging game. It's not as good as the later games, but it's still a, a classic um, from Criterion, of course. Classic game there. Um, I, I think some of the burnout games are becoming a bit more sought after now. Uh, Backyard Wrestling 2. Um, there goes the neighbourhood. This one's a little bit more expensive. Um, I think um, I, I haven't actually played the second one. I remember playing the, the first one, which I also had a lot as a kid, um, versus against my brothers and that um actually the single player is actually surprisingly challenging um it's a lot harder than, than i remember it being um but i think that's because i spent most of the time playing it with my my brothers i remember these games back in the day they were just a lot of fun um fighting type wrestling games um 187 the ride or die um yeah army men sarge's heroes 2 uh, originally on the PlayStation 1 back in the day. Um, I, I remember playing a lot of these as well as a kid. 
Um, I, uh, two of my favourite things, video games and plastic army men toys. <laughs> um, Age of Empires 2. Yeah, this I think this is the only Age of Empires game that came out on console. I might, there might have been one on the DS um, and things like that, but I think it's the only one that came out on console per se. Um, Barbarian. Um, fighting game it looks like uh, this actually might have gone up in price I, I haven't seen this this one around um i kind of know what ones are a little bit more expensive and these ones that have the little european sticker in the corner sometimes are a bit more expensive um batman begins this game was like a precursor to the arkham games had very similar style of combat um burnout 2 point of impact probably a lot of people's favorite in the series um a lot of people love the burnout series they're these are great to, you can pick them up cheap and probably sell them as bundles area 51 a surprisingly good first person shooter on the ps2 actually it looks very generic but actually it is actually surprisingly good um i remember playing the multiplayer a lot as well as a kid um but it's surprisingly good by midway um then we have um, Arctic Thunder, originally a arcade type game. This one's actually pretty fun. Um, it's made by the same creators of Hydro Thunder. So imagine Hydro Thunder with snowmobiles. Um, Disney Sing It. These Sing It games, they're really cheap. Um, the best way to make money on Sing It games, buy a bunch of microphones, buy a bunch of these games, sell them as a bundle. Um, Disney's Wally. -E. Some Disney games go up in price. Some of them don't. Um, just always uh, look out for the ones that are more expensive. Um, Dynasty Warriors 5. I love the Dynasty Warriors series. I've played all of them. Um, so I think the most expensive Dynasty Warriors on PS2 is Extreme Legends 5. I think that's the most expensive one. Um, Dynasty Tactics. The second one's more expensive. The first one's still rather cheap. Um, Medal of Honor Rise and Sun, probably my favourite uh first person shoot on the ps2 i had beaten this game it is a little bit rough around the edges kind of hard to go back to but it's still um, a decent game um disney's move without the eye toy um again the eye toy eye toy games very cheap you're not going to get a lot of money for these the only way you'll make money on them is again bundles with eye toys and things like that um but you know you just never know you you you, you just don't know. Um, Disney's Pirate of the Caribbean at World's End. I remember getting this years ago on the Xbox 360 because I just watched the movie and I really wanted to play the game. Unfortunately, it's, it's rather generic and not that great. Um, Disney's Cars. Surprisingly, the Cars games are really good, actually. Um, they're great racing games. Um, I think the first one... Um, what I liked about this one, it had sort of like an open world area you could just drive around. Dynasty Warriors 3, surprisingly challenging at the Dynasty Warriors series. Um, Dragon's Lair 3D Special Edition, I think this has gone up in price. Um, I don't know if this includes the original Dragon's Lair game on here, I think it does. Um, but course classic this is more like a 3d action game i think that's gone up in price um defender uh, a 3d sort of version of the defender um i've heard bad things about this game i think a lot of these um arcade reboots as games are quite bad deadly strike kind of a sort of throwback to the old beat em up style games it is very generic unfortunately it's not that great of a game um, but it is kind of a cool thing it's from Midas Entertainment, so you know it's going to be a cheap one. Um, Dave Mirrors Freestyle 2 um, BMX game. Some of these BMX games are, are sought after by people because they have a lot of fond memories of them. I haven't played it. Um, Dead or Alive 2. Um, yeah, Dead or Alive. I absolutely love the Dead or Alive fighting series. Um, these are sort of the fighting 3D fighters that I do like. Very fast paced, easy to pick up and play. Um, then we have Dead to Rights. Um, I think the second one's a bit more expensive. Um, the first one's kind of still quite cheap. Um, it's, it's like Max Payne style game, but what's cool is you get like this little dog you can control and things. 
um, Disney Stitch Experiment 626 part of the Lilo and Stitch universe uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks um, this isn't a platformer it's a um, a uh, rhythm based game which kind of makes sense um, you know it's a rhythm game I, I don't think you need any instruments to play it um, Atari Anthology this is actually a decent um, selection you get 85 on here whereas the ones when they released the Atari classics volumes on the PS4 and Xbox and that they did it in three separate volumes with less games on it whereas this one has a, a ton on here uh, it includes uh, 18 arcade and 67 2600 games um, Armored Core 2 Actually, this is kind of hard to find any information about actually this version. The other one um, is is a thing, but it's, this is made from Crave and From Software. So some well-known developers there. Um, cards Mater International, again, some of these cards games um, are sought after by fans. I think it's got a, uh, um, it was either this or Racer's, uh, Racer Rama got a PS3 release. Um, Demon Summoner, one of the worst games I ever played. Um, I think this has gone up in price though, actually. I might be able to get uh, some money on this one, but this, this game was absolutely terrible. Do not play it. Dynasty Warriors 5 Empires, probably my favourite in the series. Not a great um, addition to the game, but I remember putting a lot of hours in this one on the Xbox 360. Uh, Blood Rain. Um, I think the second game is probably the more expensive one. Um, first one is still rather cheap, I believe. Uh, World Rally Extreme Championship 2. Tons of rally games on the PS2. Um, I'm sorry about taking the stickers off, but I might as well do it while I'm here. <laughs> um, World War 2 Tank Battles. Again, just a cheap budget uh, tank game. Um, the one that I used to play a lot as a kid was Seek and Destroy. That was the tank game I used to play a lot of. Um, never played this one. Um, Reckless, the Yakuza missions. It's got nothing to do with uh, Yakuza. Um, it's just got Yakuza in the title. It's a uh, racing, uh, action type racing game. Um, I wouldn't say it's a... I, I don't think I've ever played it. But looks kind of fun though. Um, Dynasty Warriors Extreme Legends 5. Um, I think this is the most expensive one on the uh, out of the series. Um, I'm going to double check the price on it. But I'm sure it was like a six or seven pound game now. Um, I, I, I can probably uh, I might keep it. I'll probably keep it though because obviously the Dynasty Warriors series. Uh, Downhill Domination. This was actually a surprisingly fun game. Um, one sought after by many people not too um, hard to find but it's still a popular game uh dakar 2 part of the paris dakar rally um this actually also is uh, little known information on this one it's kind of hard to find but it's not too expensive uh blade 2 um i'm probably going to sell this one i'm going to check the price on it but i i did not like this at all um i thought the controls were horrendous um, Burnout 3 Takedown, again, Burnout, one of the best racing series in many people's eyes, great arcade racing game. Uh, Burnout Dominator also came out on the PSP, I think the PS2 version's a little bit more uncommon. Um, a lot of games that, that were originally PSP games and then got a PS2 port um, are, are more sought after um, kind of thing. Uh, then we have The Mummy, um, this is an animated one, I think it's based on the old um, cartoon. Operation Winback, I think this was originally a, um, I want to say a, a, a Dreamcast game or something. Um, I don't know, I'm sure it was, it was on something else originally. Leisure Suit Larry, Magna Cum Lauda, Uncut Edition, um, I... I think this might have gone up in price as well. And then the last one here is the World Rally Championship 3. Um, so there we go. That's um, what I've uh, picked up. Well, not picked up, but that's that's the ones from today. Um, sorry I haven't really sort of gone into too much detail. Um, I'm going to... Um,
go for all of these, check all the prices on them. I probably the only one that I probably will put up on eBay will be uh, Blade Two, just because I don't see myself ever really playing it again. Um, not in the greatest of condition either, but I think the game works fine. But I'm going to check the prices on all of these. Like I said, I'll put them on eBay to just leave them on there. Um, and then when I've got a decent pile of them, I'll put them on Facebook and see if anyone's interested. And then if, if nothing sells, then obviously I can always take a trip to see it. I am going into town today. I think um, I've got to go to the post office and I've got to go shopping so I can kill two birds with one stone. Um, if there's anything in here that's actually decently priced, I might just take it and see yet and, and get a, a small trading um, set or, or, or see how much cash I can get just to pay for a few things. I don't know yet. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, um, feel free to leave a like and, of course, comment below. Let me know if there are any games here. Um, I think I'm getting a day to myself today, hopefully. <laughs> um, so tonight I'm going to play some PS3. I haven't decided what I'm going to start next because I finished Black Ops 1. Part of me is like, do I just do Black Ops 2 um, and continue on with the Call of Duty games? Because I only need to play Ghosts and Call of Duty 3 on the, the uh, PS3 now to have played all of them. For, it's mainly for achievements and stuff. Um I did beat uh, the Lego Movie 2 video game yesterday. I beat the main story, but um, I still got to do all the collecting stuff. Um, I beat it, and I am probably going to try and 100% that game because it's fairly easy. But I, I need to double check that 100% means just getting all the master bricks, not trying to get all the, the items. Because the way you get items and characters in that game, it's mostly done through, um, like... Uh, not loot box well kind of like loot boxes if, if you will um so if that's the case uh, that to me is a, a huge problem <laughs> um but i don't know i don't know if that that you need to um do that i'm going to double check but anyway guys as always subscribe if you haven't already and join the family oh and i will be watching some wwe as well tonight i'm going to watch the king of the ring from 1996 um, I'm trying to, I, I want to get some, a bit of money because I've got to pay, tw I need 20 quid to pay for the all out pay-per-view from uh, last year because that's where I'm, I'm at now on AEW. One more episode and then that. Um, I know I can probably find a stream of it online but I prefer to watch it on my TV on on um, Fight TV because it, it just works fine and looks great so. But anyway guys I hope you enjoyed today's video and as always follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Mad Kai and as always have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video i might be back later with a pickup video i don't know but i i wouldn't hold your breath anyway take care bye bye